concerned about the effect this subject will have upon my daughter. Instead, let's arrange for her to marry you in a few years. Elizabeth, I want you to accompany the boy. Take care of him. You know, play doctor and stuff. Also, Dustin Hoffman was apparently unavailable to play the old man with a long, dark wig and a red coat and a white scarf. We find out later that the medallion calls to the dead pirates on the Black Pearl, so why are they just sailing in the fog like a myth right now? Nobody on board except Elizabeth sees this ship that is literally like a hundred yards away and clearly visible. Jack steps off the boat with his right leg, but his left leg hits the dock first. This is some truly terrible formation shit right here. These lines aren't even remotely straight. What? Have they never practiced these before? Have they not seen the opening to A Few Good Men? Elizabeth is about to faint from the corset, but decides to stand right on the edge of the fort wall. Shoot him! First, the governor wants to shoot Jack on sight without knowing who he is or what he's done. Then, when he finds out Jack is a pirate, he wants to hang him. Why the change? Hang him! To delay Jack's death so he can escape later? Yeah, that seems like protocol. Just handcuff a guy and leave him unattended next to the rich girl. Scene does not contain a lap dance. Soldiers approach Jack from the front, even though all of them are behind him. Now will you shoot him? Will you make up your f***ing mind? We didn't shoot him before because you said hang him, remember? This guy's closing his eyes while firing. This guy's got his head turned completely to the side, and this guy appears to be three feet tall. Take cover, man! What? Take cover from what? The single guy in chains running away from all the soldiers? Mr. Sparrow has a dawn appointment with the gallows. But I thought the order was to shoot him now. Will Turner's facial hair goes from this to this in a few hours. The go cause to us. Except when it's in a drawer, or right next to them in the beginning of the movie. Cal Drogo would totally have kicked Legolas's ass had it not been for this fortunate sign-falling incident. Why would the pirates care if she dropped it? Can they not just jump right in after it and grab it? I mean, the ship's still in the harbor, right? Will Turner is a dick to maps. Hurry! Someone would have heard that. Why? They haven't heard anything else. If you're gonna do this, you might as well not even try to hide. This is way more suspicious than if you were just out in the open walking around. Will and Jack must have the strength of a hundred men to pull a f***ing boat down completely underwater along with a pocket of air. How did their clothes dry so fast? The British dude seriously left not one single guy on this ship? Not one dude? Is it naval policy to abandon ship completely when you search other ships for two f***ing criminals? This guy had no chance and he knew it before he swung. I think he was just tired of working and wanted to take a dip. This tiny boat explodes from the impact of the Dauntless well before the Dauntless ever actually touches it. That's got to be the best part I've ever seen. Inferior officer rubs it in the face of his superior. Also, the Black Pearl came to town and destroyed all kinds of but left two of the best ships in the fleet completely alone? Pig pillows. The pirates kidnap girls so often they have this whole skeletons running the ship routine thing that's all choreographed and everything. These mostly drunk pirate losers have better alignment and timing than the f***ing British soldiers do. Where is all this light coming from if not the moon? And if it's moonlight, why aren't they showing their true skeleton nature? Keep us steady, man! Dude, he's not even the one driving. Are we really supposed to believe Jack Sparrow saw this cannon being fired 20 feet away and the cannonball coming right at him but still had time to duck? Will somehow not only survives the ship explosion but then also manages to swim over 100 yards in a matter of seconds. Despite not knowing how Jack escaped the last time, Barbosa figures putting Jack on the same island will do the trick this time. So when did they fix the door to this prison cell? Because this is the same cell they put Jack in, and then during the attack it was damaged. Never sat well with Bootstrap what we did to Jack Sparrow. The two bumbling idiot pirates are reduced to being exposition vessels. People and ghosts are really good at walking underwater in this movie. Jack shoots Barbosa before the coins and Will's blood go into the treasure chest, meaning Barbosa shouldn't have any flesh that a bullet could do any damage to. If this is supposed to all of a sudden kill Barbosa, shouldn't Jack have a gaping wound from being stabbed with a sword before? Shouldn't all the dead pirates have wounds that magically show up that they didn't notice because they were all dead already? This putting the eye back in thing was cute and funny when he was dead, but now that he's alive again, how is he able to put it back in and control it? Bumbling idiot pair number one, meet bumbling idiot pair number two. Who the f*** is this cowboy? End credit scene no one stays for because no one expects an end credit scene for a movie based on a theme park ride. Also, the stone lid on this chest is clearly closed in this shot, but somehow magically open for the monkey to reach in and steal some gold in the next shot. That's not good enough! Not sure I deserve that. Tortuga. You will never find a more wretched hive of scum and villainy.